I bought a gun. Nice. And today, I'm gonna use it. All right. What kind? <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so I... Oh. It's a PMI, that's a positive material identifier. <laughs> Maybe I oversold that a little bit. It's clearly not a real gun. But, in my opinion, it's actually kind of cooler than a real gun. Instead of shooting bullets, it shoots x-rays. Which is why it's... Dude, quit pointing it at someone. ...called an XRF gun which stands for X-ray fluorescence. Uh, and technically, it's not called a gun. It's an XRF analyzer. So at nuclear power plants, we use these to analyze the grades of uh, stainless steel. It's basically a QAQC tool. And using this does not give you that much radiation dose. Less than a microsievert per hour at 30 centimeters, which is less than eating a banana. But whatever. The first test, the very, very important first test, Let's just shoot the table. All right. Okay, we're blasting, uh, blasting x-rays at the table. Probably mainly get the pain. So it's telling us that there's quite, a, there's actually a lot of chromium in this table. It doesn't, it's not gonna detect carbon and other stuff cause that's way too light, but- Metals. I mean, these, these are the elements that's in the wood apparently. <laughs> and possibly all the stuff that he broke on this table by doing experiments. <laughs> <laughs> At least in the paint. It's actually probably the black yeah. paint or something that's on top. Uh, it has iron, titanium, I think, yeah, vanadium, copper, zinc, manganese, strontium, lead. That's, that's cool. So there's lead in there. Every element has its characteristic x-ray. That's how it detects it. Think of it as a portable, low-power x-ray spectrometer.